Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Sunny and I'm a software engineer. Today, in this video, we will see how you can run a program on HackerRank coding platform. So for those who are new to HackerRank, let me tell you that HackerRank is a coding platform where you can practice your coding skills. I have already created a video about HackerRank on how to use HackerRank. I have talked about different features and also explained how you can use this platform effectively whether you are a beginner or advanced programmer. So this is going to be a subsequent video where I'll show you how you can execute any program on this platform. So let's start with this video. So as you can see, I'm on the HackerRank coding platform. If you see, we are currently on HackerRank. Here, let me go to one of the cards. So here we have this problem solving card. So we can click on any such card it will show you a list of programs right and on the right side if you see you have a lot of options to click like you can list down your uh, programs based upon sort unsolved or let's say if you want to set the difficulty level as easy or medium or hard similarly you can also select what topics you want to practice for so this is a basic feature this all things you will get uh, get to know from my first video but the focus here in this video is how you can execute your first program so let's say if you are a beginner and you don't know how to use hacker rank so this video is for you so let me show you so so let's say you are here uh, under problem solving you are seeing a lot of problems right so these are nothing but your coding problems okay so let's say if i click on one of them so let me first select on the easy so that i can just show you uh, how you can execute your program instead of showing what logics are so let me also uncheck this so let me yeah so this is the first basic program which you can uh, solve so let me just show you how you can you need to click on this problem so once you click on this card what you see is on the left side you have the problem statement so here on the left side you can see that you we have a problem statement given then here there is some note and then we have some examples right examples and the fun function description about uh, whatever is here on the right side you are seeing and then you also have the input format how your input for format will look like then the constraint right so here you can scroll and you can uh, read through this just to understand what is this problem statement is about right so by going through this description you should be able to understand the problem and you should be knowing what you need to code right and you will also be knowing that what your inputs will look like so based upon that you need to code right but our intention is not to solve the problem here our intention is to understand how you can use this so let's say once you go through this uh, problem statement and sample test cases you are clear about what needs to be done so what you see on the right side is the partial code okay you can you can see that some some code is already there right if you if you notice this function is is doing what is is taking care of your inputs and outputs right and all you need to do is you need to put your logic over here so if you see they have also clearly mentioned complete the reverse array function below so here let me tell you this question was about to reverse a array of integers so here as you can see in this function it is accepting a, a list of integers and what you need to return is a list of integer with a elements which are reversed right so this is a very basic question where you need to reverse the elements in an array or an array list okay so i'll quickly show you how you can uh, use this and write your program and execute against the sample sample test cases right so let me tell you one more thing that here on the top if you see you have different options like options like change theme here you can simply change the theme of your uh, id so whatever you prefer so you can select that and then if you see the next option is language here you can select any of the language right you are comfortable with if you want to program in c plus plus you can simply click on that and you can have the similar sort of partial code already there and then whatever function you need to write it will have that uh, signature over here right you just need to put your logic inside this right so this is how it looks so whatever language you select you will see that there will be some partial code against which you have to write your uh, 
logic right so for us we just need to add a logic inside reverse array function right others you can uh, keep this untouched you don't need to do anything because uh, whatever the input and output will be taken care by the platform so let me go to the uh, language java so i'll select java 8 so this is my uh, partial code where i'll be writing my code and also uh, just before writing the code let me show you that here is an option where uh, you can also reset the code so let's say you have already written some code right but you messed up something right you don't know like something wrong you have added and now what you want you want a clean slate like you want a previous state whatever was there so you can use this button to reset the code okay so let's say if i add something here and if i do reset this should remove it okay so now you can see those lines were gone and also if you see here under the three dots there are few more options where you can have editor mode like what mode you want to hear uh, those who are familiar with Vim and Emacs should be knowing this and how many number of spaces so this is basically uh, uh, if you are coding for some time you should be knowing right and here there is one more interesting feature which is autocomplete you can either keep it disable or enable so I would say that uh, let's keep it enable because it will help you to write code faster okay so basically whenever you will start writing any instruction it you will show that you will get more suggestions right whatever you write you will get uh, suggestions so for example if i do a dot then you see i get all the methods of the list right so uh, auto suggestion will help you to write correct code syntactically correct so yeah i would say that uh, keep it enabled so that's that's all about the uh, the feature which are currently available on this window uh, another thing if you see here uh, you can also upload code as a file so here if you click you will get an option where you can upload a file right so right now we will not focus on here because this is for someone who already know how hacker rank works so let's keep this particular file what we will do right now is we will utilize this editor only right the online editor okay and also if you see uh, there is a checkbox which says test against custom input so this i'll show you but for now let let's uh, skip this so so this is the basic function and here if you see there are two buttons one is run code and submit code so let me first write the code and then i'll show you so let me uh, start coding so, so we basically need to reverse the array right that means if let's say if you get an array with elements one two three four what we need to return is four three two one okay so this is what is expected right so i will simply write this code quickly and then we'll demonstrate how you can execute that so whatever logic you feel is correct you need to write it here and then i'll show you how you can do it so let me just add the code so i have added the code so let me run this so to execute this code you just have to click on run code so as you can see this code has been tested against this sample test zero and the output is correct that's why you are seeing this okay let's assume that you have done some logical error over here okay then what would happen so let's say here instead of high i mistakenly write low or let's say my logic is incorrect right so if i run this code let's see what happens so here you can see that your sample test case failed right and it shows right what was the input and then what was the output and then what is the expected output so this output is your and the expected is this one so you can again go ahead and basically check your code and then you can fix it and run it again so once you run this you should be able to see congratulations over here right that means your sample test case is passing so once you are confident with this code what you can do you can submit this code so once you submit what it does is it checks with a lot of other sample test cases so here you can see there are total of nine test cases right so you it might happen that you are missing on some edge cases then that will get caught over here right so let's see how it works so yeah so here if you see all the test cases has been passed right 
so let's assume that if there is any logical error right and you might end up uh, failing few of the test cases then how will you know what is wrong right so what you can do so first thing you can do is you can debug your code and try to understand what what uh, edge case or what logical error you are doing if you are still unable to figure it out what is wrong what you can do is you can go to that particular test case and you can unlock the test case right so what happens is initially this test case will remain locked right you won't be able to see what was that input but once you click on unlock you should be able to see the test cases right so for test case 4 i am able to see what are the inputs right and then based upon this you can analyze your code further right so i hope uh, this makes sense to you uh, and also if you see there is a next challenge button right once you clear this problem statement you can go to the next challenge right and you can do the similar stuff over there right so this is about this uh, platform one more one last thing which i would like to show you is this test against custom input right so once you click this what you can do is you can have your custom input we have seen right first you need to give the number of elements so let's say for our in our case the number of elements in the array will be five and then let's say what are the numbers let's say this is one two three four five so this is my test case and let me run this code against this so let's say how our code performs so here you can see that given your test case you are getting this output so now with custom test cases as well you should be able to analyze your code right so just before submitting the code you need to be assured about the logic you have implemented right so how you can verify that is with the custom test inputs right so this is also there so i hope this is clear to you now if you have any further query you can comment down and ask me i will try to answer those so that's all for this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends thank you for watching